Hello, my name is Martin and I'd like to welcome you to a short video regarding my new Open Insight 9.0 examples application. The application has been written totally using Open Insight version 9 and it was originally written to help me to better understand the product and also the process of building an application and to get an idea of the required learning curve for developers that are new to building multi-value Windows applications with products like Open Insight. In doing so, I wanted to see how far I could push the product with absolutely no application development experience or any formal training. To say the least, I've been very surprised at what can be achieved in a relatively short period of time with no experience and only the usual OIWorks resources. The application is supplied as a zip file with a single setup.exe file. This is an example of an installer created using NSIS and it doesn't require any programming at all as I used a uh, wizard to run through the uh, installation process. The install software includes all of the application source code and this enables developers to replace my runtime license file with their own 9.0 development license or you can use an INO evaluation license file and then you can go in and explore how things were built, look at the store procedures, the event handlers, the forms etc. The install files also include a developer's briefing in PDF format that goes into more detail about how things were built and there is also a user's guide should you wish to use the software to manage your own photograph collection. There is a mix of styles and functionality throughout the application and these are detailed within the developer's briefing. In addition, I've used HTML files and OLAY controls to build a very simple help system that is perfect for non-technical users. So, let's take a very quick look at some of the screens and what's contained within the application. After installing the application, we can simply run it using the shortcut and accept the username of Media Library. Now, the app is going to open up full screen and this video is slightly smaller, so I'll resize the main screen in a moment. But before we do that, we'll look at this splash screen that's come up. Some of the features on here is the ability to run a website from text within an Open Insight form. So this is just running the uh, Rev UK website. Um, I'm also using it to run HTML files. Now, this is the README file. This is a, an Open Insight form with an OLA control that is simply rendering the HTML page within it. Um, also, the Getting Started manual is a PDF document and I can launch that from the buttons. So this is running my PDF uh, viewer. So that's really the splash screen. Um, the main screen, which I'll just resize so that we can see it within the video here. The main screen is used to capture media files that are added to disks. So the idea is that we would initially add a disk into the system and this is done by using the add disk button. This is a fairly uh, basic form, nothing too exciting on here. Um, we can return a record, uh, we can search, we can use a calendar etc. And also within this application I've got several OIPI reports. Um, this one is a fairly standard report. Let's just resize this window also so that uh, you can see it uh, more clearly in the video. Um, it just shows uh, some fairly standard information, rich text in a polygon that, that's shaded. Uh, there are more complicated reports within the application, one of which is in the Add Media window. Now the Add Media window features the tab control, so you can look and see how the tab control works. It's got some uh, combo boxes with working with images and the images are brought in by clicking a button which makes a call out to Windows Explorer so you can see how you're already uh, interacting with uh, Windows here and uh, this particular window also includes a .NET wrapper then the .NET wrapper exposes the um, header information in a JPEG file and populates this edit table so this is coming straight out of the JPEG file uh, the OIPI report on this particular window is a little bit more advanced than the other one that we looked at in that we are producing a representation of the image. Um, this obviously changes on the record that we're looking at, um, but it's a standard OIPI report. There's also uh, an address book. Um, now the address book window is similar to the others. Uh, we have the ability within email just to click a button 
and this will launch our default email client in this particular instance I'm running Outlook it drops in the um, email address and we can send that straight out and also I've got the ability to launch a website the same way as before using the web address that is saved within the, the database in addition on this particular uh, form I've got a collector window that's uh, an example of just collecting some information and passing that back to uh, the calling form the DB admin window is a little bit different in that this is an example of using an MDI frame that will then call MDI children these are just for codes within the system and you can see throughout the application that uh, I've got uh, states of buttons changing so here I can't launch another MDI child until I close this button enables the buttons and you will have seen that the save buttons and print buttons are becoming enabled on the reports button we've got an example of a um, hierarchical list here for managing the reports and there's some basic report revelation reporter reports in here and then some that go a bit further so for instance the disk summary has a date search on it so it will prompt us for a date and we can put a date in uh, so this is our first date and our two date so and when you OK that it passes those parameters back to Open Insight and it will produce us a report um, of information between those dates OK so back to the main window um, I've already got some sample data in here so if I just pull in some uh, information that I've got on disk one these are all of the media files that have been assigned assigning a media file is simply a case of clicking a blank row and double clicking on the ID and I can either produce a list by keyword or a listing and in this instance I'll just grab um, those two particular records and I'll assign those two media files to this particular uh, disk. Now I can also go in and edit that by clicking on a, an ID column with a value in it and I can also get a thumbnail come up of any particular image within the application as well. Removing media files from the disk is simply a case of selecting as few or as many of the records using the checkbox within the edit table and then just running the routine to remove it and then obviously saving the record there is a full help system within the system so if I was to go to the add disk window and I was to click on help I would get the information about the disk window likewise if I'm in the address book and I do the same this time using the button I'll get the help file to do with the address book and this is uh, has got full navigation so I can go back to the welcome screen I can go to the media files etc and navigate around the system we've also got QBF within the system as well um, but I'll leave you to have a play with that a little later so lots and lots to play around with and I hope that you find this uh, example application based on Open Insight 9 useful thanks for your time